Alright, this is a uh, KitKat clock uh, that you can find um, online. And what I'm going to show you is how I was able to power this using an AC adapter. Um, if you look on the back of it, um, what we have is essentially a battery powered clock. And it takes two uh, C sized uh, batteries, about 1.5 volts a piece. And uh, what I've done is I've connected them. Uh, uh, with two clips on the positive and negative ends of the battery terminal. And what I'm going to do here is uh, connect this to the positive and negative leads from a USB cable that I uh, basically uh, cut up and connected to those clips. And then uh, what I found out was that you can actually use just a simple 5 volt uh, 1 amp uh, AC adapter that you typically see on like the iPhone and iPad and uh, iPod uh, chargers. So I'm going to plug it into the uh, power strip down there and then uh, plug it up and just show you guys how that works. It's really simple. Uh, I'm plug that in there. And this is about a six foot long uh, USB cable. Uh, so plug it in there. And you notice that the clock fires right up. A um, couple things about this is I, I didn't use a voltage regulator um, because it only takes about 3 volts or so and the AC adapter itself is about 5 volts. So with that information I figured that the internal regulator of the clock would be uh, would be okay even though it's a couple of volts off. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on it and just make sure that nothing's overheating but I think the clock's going to be okay. Um, so anyway that's it. Um, if you want to figure out a way to, or if you know of a better way to uh, power it using an AC adapter, uh, just let me know. But uh, that's it.